day four. <laughs> So my name is Jeremy Gimpel, and uh, my other partner here is Aria Bramowitz. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia originally, and he's from Houston, Texas. And now we're inviting anyone from any background to come and join us here in the mountains. Soon, this company will start building these throughout the desert and bring life back to the desert. This is just the biggest one and the furthest in the desert so far. Sorry. So maybe this will be a prototype. Rabbi, what was the name of the company? Maim Shketim, Quiet Waters. Thank you. Maim Shketim. So I will return to captivity of my people Israel. And they will rebuild wasted cities. They'll plant gardens and eat of their fruit and plant vineyards and drink of their wine. I will plant them upon their land, never to be removed from their land again. So this is Chabat Arugut, the Arugut Farms, which is situated in the mountains of Seir, in the mountains of Judea, where King David ran away from Saul before he became king. And here we're building um, an international center for Torah, for prayer, for a connection to the land, and everyone from around the world is invited to come and join us here. How do you feel? I am exhausted, but I'm ready for some food. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of food. Yeah. Two baguettes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's what I said too. I asked, are we sharing? Yeah. <laughs> but then they say no. Who, who, who invented this? Who eats this much? I'm going to prove you. I can do it. After an awesome time in the Judean Desert, we went to the Holocaust Memorial Museum. I am not gonna try to pronounce the name of this museum. I'm just gonna leave it here somewhere. Um, well, yeah, it wasn't a heavy museum, which also was the point of the museum, I guess, that it wasn't gonna be too heavy. Um, but some people took it more heavier than others. Uh, like me, for example, I wasn't too affected by it because in Norway we learn a lot about the Second World World War, the yeah, Second World War, uh, and the Holocaust and all of that stuff. So I have already cried my tears for weeks <laughs> um, because we learned so much about it. And so, yeah, of course, I'm still sad about it, but I've already gone through that phase. Like, why God? Why? Why would you do this to your people? I've gone through it, uh, but I guess some might not have, I don't know. Um, but we all deal with stuff differently. Uh, also at this museum we were not allowed to film inside, which was fine by me, because I wasn't planning to film inside, um, because respect <laughs> for the story is important to me. And yeah, also I just felt I didn't need to document the moment. So after that, we went back to the hotel, uh, had a great meeting, lost Alina for a moment. She returned, she was fine. Just freaked me out for a moment there.
this time I'm gonna put some links in the description down below that you should probably check out. Uh, some links are to the uh, orchid farm, the farm we went to visit in Judea. And the other link is to Ebenezer because Ebenezer is awesome and they were in charge of this tour. Uh, so if you want to know more about Ebenezer or um, Aliyah and Ulim and just the Jews returning in general, then you should go and check that out uh, and support both these places because they are both pretty awesome and fulfilling some pretty cool prophecies. So yeah, see you in day five. Peace out! I'm not gonna hit the camera this time, so peace out!